Poutini friends, welcome in. You're listening to Jawa Chatter, a Star Wars podcast that delivers you Star Wars chats every week. Today, we are discussing a few interesting things here. Commander Cody's role was apparently cut from Obi-Wan Kenobi show. Mandalorian season three trailer has supposedly leaked. And there are Star Wars Emmy nominations afoot. So before we dive into that, though, those that are regular here might notice something a little bit different. Normally, it's myself, Claudia, and Nerdy, and that is how it usually is. But this week, we just didn't see anything to dive into as the three of us. There wasn't a lot going on, honestly. And so we thought we I thought, you know, I would make this quick news update for Star Wars of the stuff that was going on. And hopefully next week, there's going to be something to dive into. And I would bet, I would guess, so I wouldn't be surprised at least if that was a Mandalorian Season 3 official trailer release. But we'll see. All right. Let's hit the music and let's go. <laughs> Mandalorian Season 3 drops in February 2023, and there was supposedly a trailer leaked uh, a couple days ago or so. And I think for those that are wondering, I think most have kind of figured out that it's the real deal. And I'll confirm for you, it is. Uh, I will admit it was a little bit, a little bit challenging finding one online. And I think that's probably because Disney is cutting them, (laughs) getting them pulled down from YouTube faster than Obi-Wan Kenobi cuts down limbs. They are slashing left and right, so to speak. And, you know, that's, that's normal because, you know, they haven't released the trailer officially. That said, as someone who has seen it, and I'm not talking about the leaked one, I was there at Star Wars Celebration. So I've seen the whole thing. I actually have seen it a couple of times. And I do wish that all of you, the public, had already seen it. I was lucky enough to see it. But I really feel like by now it should have released. That said, you know, you, you could go watch this leak. Do I recommend it? You know, I went and checked it out for you. Not really. No. As much as I wish you could see it, I don't recommend watching it this way. There's there's nothing enjoyable to me, at least personally, watching any movie trailer or form of video that I'm excited about with a, a, a video of a video with poor lighting and someone's, you know, someone's head covering half the screen. But you know what? If you really just can't wait, you, you can find them out there. They're pretty tough. I can't show you here, obviously, but it is out there. It is real, but it is only part of it, by the way. I, I found one. It was about a little over a minute long. That's pretty short. Uh, the trailer was longer than that. So do with this information what you will. It is there. It's out there in the world. Here's what I really hope. I hope that at the very least, this kind of pushes Disney to release the official trailer, which, I, again, I, I kind of wish they already had. But at the same time, you know, it's not really our decision. But yeah, so maybe maybe next week, hopefully on this podcast, we will have that to talk about. If not, I really do think it's going to be released sooner rather than later. So I wouldn't worry too much if you're just like eager to watch it. So this might be something you're aware of or some of you may have missed more into the radar a little bit. So Commander Cody, those of you who don't remember, uh, Revenge of the Sith, yellow armor, yellow clone armor. Uh, If you watch Clone Wars, you definitely know Commander Cody. And he takes a shot at Obi-Wan Kenobi, who he works with extensively through the Clone Wars. Uh, They are friends. I mean, they are, yes, they are brothers in arms, but they are friends as well. It is, if you've watched Clone Wars, uh, that moment will hit even harder. And we all kind of wondered a little bit, like, when we might see this character again, because uh, I'll I'll, kind of let you know, as somebody who's seen some rebels and uh, bad batch and stuff that's supposed to take place after order 66 there is no sign of commander cody so far not really so we're all kind of wondering and that is something that here on the podcast we thought we might see yeah we didn't but apparently originally according to an obi-wan kenobi writer who was attached to the original film project uh so if you don't know this obi-wan kenobi is actually supposed to be a, a movie um you know, then it changed into a show later down the line. There's a lot of stuff that happened, and we don't need to dive into that. But 
anyways, from the original film project, and take that with a grain of salt, you know, was it always supposed to be a part of the show? I mean, yeah, probably. Uh, but again, the project changed hands. It changed what it was supposed to be. It changed the medium. That said, this is still very interesting. And if you want to know how it was going to go, I'm going to read it out real quick, uh, the quote from the writer. Uh, he, this is quotes, by the way, not for me. Yeah, yeah, Cody was the big one. I love the idea of Obi-Wan having a buddy on Tatooine, like a secret buddy. So like the first time he goes into town, you see Cody, and he's following him through the streets and attacks him. Takes him in an alley with a knife to his throat and says, you're dead. And then you realize, oh no, Cody's making a point. Like, come on, you gotta be more careful. And you realize, oh, Cody was now more from someone who was trying to kill him. Uh, last time we saw him, who's now devoting his life to protect him. Because by now, he's had the biochip taken out of his head. Again, like, if you haven't seen Clone Wars, important. And now he realized, oh my god, what I did was wrong. And he's driven by guilt, as much as Obi-Wan is driven by guilt. He, I mean, that's, that's, that's fairly true, especially, especially about Obi-Wan. So you got these two kind of old warriors bickering like this old married couple bitching about, God, it was so much better when we had an army at our backs, you know? I, that is interesting. I, I don't want to dive too much into this, but, like, that dynamic would have been... I mean, I love the Obi-Wan Kenobi series, so I'm not looking back at this like, oh, what could have been? But, you know, it's fun to think about. Uh, I, I don't think I've dived too much into it more than that is, yeah, I think I would that dynamic would have been fun. But it may have taken away a little bit of the sole focus of Obi-Wan Kenobi. Well, first and foremost, focus Obi-Wan, because it would have turned in more to a, you know, comedy routine, uh, a bro, a bro comedy. Uh, for a bit, and I think that take, would have taken away a little bit from Obi-Wan, but overall, I think we could have made it work. But hey, that was a creative decision that they made. No harm, no foul. But you know what? I think what this really does tell us is that we will see Commander Cody again in some fashion. So I'm looking forward to how they bring him in instead. I really do believe that we'll see him again. So that's great. Next up, we have Emmy nominations. Look, I'll admit, I, I'm not some huge person when it comes to like uh, movie show awards etc but it is really cool to see the people that work so so hard on these projects especially star wars get recognized for what they do and there's some good ones on here uh these are really interesting so first up we actually have a uh, book of boba fett and all of these it could win uh outstanding fantasy sci-fi costumes outstanding sound editing for a comedy or drama series that has to be one hour Outstanding special effects in a season or movie. Outstanding stunt coordination for a drama series, limited or anthology series or movie. So those are really interesting. And like, honestly, Book of Boba Fett, although I liked it and didn't over the top love the show, it does have, it absolutely deserves all those nominations. Like it really does. Like those are all places where it really shines. And I hope that it comes away with at least one. That would be amazing. The other one that's pretty interesting is actually Star Wars Visions. Uh, it only has one nomination, but it is it is deserved. Outstanding short form animated program. If you haven't seen Star Wars Visions, it is not canon to the Star Wars uh, universe, but it's an amazing piece of Star Wars. I don't care that it's not canon, and honestly, it's it's just so good, <laughs> and it's such a different perspective, um, and made by you know, the animators in Japan. So it tells like a different cultural story through the medium of Star Wars as a franchise. And it's it's so good. And on top of that, if for some reason you have missed the information, like if you're a Visions fan and you just didn't know, well, at Star Wars Celebration, it was kind of a quiet announcement. So it is possible that you didn't hear. Uh, season two of Visions is officially been announced. It happened in Star Wars Celebration in late May. And... It's supposed to be debut in spring 2023, but there is a twist. This is different. You know, last time it was all studios from Japan, uh, and there will be animated animators coming from Japan. They will have an, an episode, but there will also be shorts that are coming from other parts of the world, which is really amazing. And and I love this uh, for the season two of Visions. I think it's perfect. It's gonna be some for the United States, uh, but there's also gonna be the UK, South Africa. Chile, Spain, France, and India. So honestly, that is so exciting. I, as someone who absolutely love visions, and I think it's a, I think it's, a, I think it's something that can that you may not love every single episode, 
But I almost can guarantee that if you like Star Wars, even if you just like Star Wars and don't love Star Wars, there is an episode that speaks at least one. There's at least one episode that speaks to almost everyone. There's like each one is a little different. They're all so different from each other, but you're going to find at least one of those that really speaks to you. Uh, for me, I loved majority of them and I liked all of them at the very least. But there were some that, yes, obviously spoke to me more than others. And that's kind of what I really like about it. It is just fantastic storytelling. And if you're uh, interested, the first the first episode, Ronan, I think I've talked to a lot of people that didn't know this. There's a book uh, about Ronan. And if uh, it, the first one seemed to be a lot of people's favorite. And it is a fantastic episode of Visions. It is so, so good. And there's a book that picks up not only where that starts, but then it keeps going after the fact. So yeah, if you're interested in that, I highly recommend it. it I think it's literally called uh, Book of Ronan. I have it you know, on a shelf somewhere. All right, everyone. I know that was a quick one. I do apologize for that. It's really quiet in the Star Wars universe. We're really looking forward to Andor that's coming up in about a little over a month. And there will be something that comes between now and then. We will absolutely have a podcast episode next week. We will continue to have podcast, podcast episodes. May they look a little different if they need to be. Yeah, you know, they need to they need to inform and entertain. And if that's a shorter form until we get to Android dropping, that's okay. But we'll be here for you no matter what. If you have any questions, comments, please feel free to uh, comment on our YouTube video or contact us anywhere on social. We're everywhere, including Twitter. And we really do appreciate all the support. And thank you so much for listening and watching. May the force be with you, Teeny, and. Uh, Good week. Bye, everybody.